Uden mad og drikke, sådan begynder ordsproget, og i dag skal jeg spise frokost et helt særligt sted. En noget speciel frokostoplevelse, det er at gå hen på Marriott, gammel historisk bygning, og så få en helt klassisk ret fish and chips, samtidig med, at man kan sidde og nyde udsigten til Big Ben. En lækker frokost i de gamle smukke bygninger, der tidligere var Londons rådhus, er absolut en oplevelse værd. Men hvordan ser det egentlig ud med det moderne udvalg af spisesteder? Jeg har fundet et specielt sted ved King's Cross, hvor en speciel trend har vokset sig stor. Når man ser sådan en lille charmerende bil, som jeg står ved her, så er det måske ikke umiddelbart frokost, man tænker på. Men ikke desto mindre, så er den helt nye trend her i byen, det er, at man spiser sin frokost ved det, der hedder truck food. My name is Carl, I'm from Jamaica, and I'm doing Firebird. Firebird is a um, sourdough base with seasonal ingredients, cooked in our oven, often basically is the British, um, fire, the British pieces. Hello, I'm Franz, I'm from Austria. Uh, welcome to the Speckmobil. Um, today we're serving schnitzel, uh, one of the most popular Austrian dishes. It's uh, breaded rare bread pork, and we serve it with plate of cucumber salad. And then one of our other signature dishes here at the Speckmobil is our apple strudel. We uh, make our own pastry, um, use uh, my grandmother's recipe, And uh, yeah, it's one of the favorites on London Street already, so. Hi, my name is Eleanor Burke, and I'm from Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, and this is our Mexican fusion truck. So we make tacos. Så der er simpelthen ingen grænser for, hvad du kan spise i London i dag. Herligt. Men hvad er årsagen til denne udvikling, der er sket lige netop her ved King's Cross? King's Cross is changing. King's Cross is a really exciting new place for all sorts of things happening in London. It's traditionally quite kind of run down. A while ago, people wouldn't want to come here, but Google are moving in in a couple of years, and we're having lots and lots of new creative media types moving in. And so this is a big development to really kind of give it a push and bring quite a lot of kind of excitement and vibrancy and kind of new faces to an area that's previously a bit unloved. And we see it as a very interesting project. It's part of kind of our vision really for London to kind of enliven spaces and open them up to new people and engage people in new ideas and new new ways of being, new ways of living. Um, so we see it as more than just food. We see food as a way to bring people into open spaces and to kind of have this conviviality, engage with new people, meet friends, make, you know, have business lunches outside, engage people with new ideas. Og så er der jo det med at englænderne er meget glade for deres te, og det findes der også råd for. Hi, I'm Emily. Um, I'm from Good Property, and I'm custom brewing loose leaf tea for takeaway. So I've got sourced um, up to 10 single estate teas from around the world, and I'm custom brewing them. So I've got really lovely filtered water. I brew them to the right temperature. I've got timers, so I time it all perfectly, and hopefully giving lots of people great cups of tea to take away. And the best place to be is on the street, so that they can they can get their good cups of tea on the way to work. Det er en rigtig god te, Emily laver og den varmer dejligt på en halvkold og regnvåd forårsdag. 